Hey guys, it's Jay from Hustle Paintball, and today we have kind of an easy video, but it's something that a lot of surpri or a surprising amount of people have actually asked us about, which is how you fill a CO2 tank. Now we have two different types of fill stations here we're going to use, but we're going to start with this awesome one that was provided, provided by Ninja. It's a lot, uh, lot more user friendly. Now a huge part of filling CO2 is you have to get the tank itself cold. The reason is because as CO2 is a, is a liquid, when it flows in there, if it's above a certain temperature, it'll turn into a gas and you won't be able to get enough into the tank. Now, how do we do this? Well, since CO2 is measured by weight, you need a digital, digital scale like this. They do make analog ones. They suck. They have springs in them. Avoid. Those things are only marginally better than guessing. Once you have your scale on, of course, tear it out. Make sure you actually have gas going into the tank, so the valve is open. Once it's there, open up your bulk tank. In the case of this one, it's really painless. You just fill it, and you'll see the numbers start to climb. You can see it wiggle back and forth as liquid goes and sloshes in there. Now, it only got to about, you know, 14 ounces. So what you have to do to continue to chill the, chill the tank is actually purge some of the CO2. couple ounces is usually fine. Once you have that, the tank will be chilled. You can actually see a little bit of frost forming down at the bottom. And you can continue to fill it on its way to, in the case of this tank, 20 ounces. Bam. Went a little bit over. Get a little bit of the extra out of the tank. Since, as you guys know, you leave these, leave these in the sun, they will blow burst discs. So don't leave your tank sitting in the sun, particularly since they're black. Once it's done, of course, take it off the scale. Go ahead and close the pin valve. Purge the rest out of the line, take it off, and these are really cold. Uh, ha. This is very cold, um, but other than that, they're good. We're going to purge this one, install a slightly different style of fill station, and we're going to show you how to do that as well. Now that we changed out our Ninja fill station for this CMI double valve station, uh, we have everything put back together, the, you know, the, the scale, everything. We've actually pre-chilled the tank a little bit. Um, just to make this less boring for you guys. But just like before, you know, valves are closed this way. Make sure the tank's open and slowly start filling it. Now with some of these fill stations while you're doing this, um, if you close the UFA, if you like screw it down too far, you'll actually start to close it again. I actually did that when we first, first started this. So just be careful. As always with these things, screw it down until you hear the gas transfer. A little bit after that, that's all you need. Make sure you don't go too far. All right, so it got up to about 14 ounces. Go ahead and purge it a little bit. This might be loud, guys. Make sure this is closed. That should be enough. That was quite loud. Go ahead, make sure that's closed. Open up your fill valve. And there we go. Bam. Perfect 20, 20.1 20 ounces. After that, just like before, close it, take it off, and make sure everything's put back together. Uh, that's, that's pretty much all it is for filling CO2. Like I said, we got a lot of requests for this, so we wanted to show you guys how it was done. And th these are two examples of different fill stations you guys might, might come across or actually buy. Of course, you can get these fill stations and that tank and one of these shirts, I think, still at hustlepaintball.com. Of course, just like this video, send us any ideas for future videos at videos at hustlepaintball.com. Like us at Facebook and follow us on Twitter. Both myself and Eric, who's behind the camera, are on there all day. You guys can talk to us there. We're, we're pretty good at, uh, you know, pretty good at responding in a timely manner. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. We have some cool new videos coming out. I know Russell's working on one as we speak. And of course, last but not least, hit up pbriot.com. It is the coolest community on paintball and on pretty much, pretty much the entire internet. So until next time, guys, have a good day. So Pokemon are a thing.